everyone. We're going to simplify this complex rational expression, and we're going to start with this piece here, find our common denominator, and then work ourselves uh, back up. So our common denominator for this piece right here is t. So basically to rewrite that, that's going to be t t plus m divided by t. Or if you want, you could um, put t under each piece if that helps. Um, so that that way you know that these are equivalent. But we rather write it as dt plus m over t. Now we have this, if we just look at this piece right here, um, that's o, uh, all under c. So what I can do is multiply this t by the c using my um, the fact that c divided by dt plus m over t. I hate t's. They look like pluses. And you keep, change, and flip. And so that's where you're going to get um, ct when you multiply these two, you can write that over fraction form. So you'll get ct when you multiply the t and the c. So what we have here now is um, ax divided by b plus ct divided by dt plus m. Now again, we're going to work in the denominator here. And my common denominator is dt plus m. Since um, this is in fraction from over 1, we're just going to multiply the b times dt plus m. Then we have plus ct. And it already has this in the denominator. All right. Again, this is all under ax. So, like I said before, all you have to do is move this guy up here with the numerator. So, you get AX times DT plus M all over this piece. So, that's going to be B times DT plus M plus CT. Now, the goal here is make sure you cannot cross these two out. And the reason you can is because these two are the same. So basically, you can't do this. You can't say 2x plus 3 over 2x. This is just easier. And cross those two out. Because that's not, that's not true. All right? So if I let x be 1, I have 2 plus 3 over 2. And that's 5 halves, not 3. So you can't just cross it out unless it's multiplied. And we have this extra uh, piece right here. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Okay.